Yo, what's good, homies and homies? It's your boy RC here. Get ready to get into this video about WWE's official YouTube channel called Top 10 SmackDown Live Moments for July 17th. Can't wait to get into it. I know it's going to be good, entertaining. Raw's Top 10 was hella lit, and I enjoyed it. I, I really genuinely enjoy these Top 10s because I don't really watch WWE like much anymore. Like Off and on, I'll catch it here or there. Or I'll go back and watch it on demand or whatever. But other than that, I really don't be looking at it like when it happens live. I be usually keeping up with it through tweets and stuff. But hey, that's another story for another time. But anyway, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Be sure to smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe, share. Suggest me type of video you want to see in the comment section down below. Be sure to stay active on the channel. We've hit over 3.5 thousand subscribers and I appreciate every single one of y'all. I'm not going to waste any more time y'all jacking. Let's hop into the video right now. Can't wait to see who's on top 10 this week. I know it's been good. Kofi Kingston, hold on a second. Oh, oh. the official takes out Sanity. Air Kofi. Nice. Wait, look, nice look dive. Look where Styles is. Look where Styles is. Watch out. Boom. AJ Styles is seeing shadows. Damn me. Right two, one, in two. And a kick oh. out by the WWE I champion. thought he was going to win for a second. I thought I almost was gonna win. That was a uh -oh. nice knee. You know what this means? Oh no! Getting, oh, nice disarmor. Mandy, Mandy Rose has got to give up. And there it is. Now dropping him to the canvas here, and Samoa Joe has the coquina clutch locked in good. You know what? And speaking of people that don't know whether they are coming or going, I was talking about this in the top ten raw moments. Um, I said Alicia Fox and in a Brooklyn didn't know whether they were coming or going. They don't know what fees they're supposed to be in, what angles they're supposed to be in. There's a lot of talented wrestlers that are in WWE, but WWE, WWE don't know how to push them. And some old Joe's another one, but I mean, they, they kept pushing him in the right direction. But I, was, I wouldn't even say it's more so Samoa Joe's fault, but every time Samoa Joe's getting ready to get that push and rise to the top, he would get injured. He's just... He's kind of injury prone. I don't know why, but he's just, ever since he's gotten to WWE, he's become injury prone. I don't think he was really injury prone in TNA. But then again, you know, I used to watch him in TNA. Um, but ever since he's come to WWE, I think age is catching up with him and weight. I'm not saying that to be me. I'm just saying that because look at Samoa Joe. But still, let's hop back into the video. Um, Not a fight, touch it's on all the over but the sleep. Dillinger, can he find a way free here against Joe? And tapping out had no choice against Joe. Kofi Kingston went for a little shot right behind here on Eric Young. Out of cover. Cover here on Young and a kick out. Oh. Killian Day just threw Woods. Toss Xavier right into Kofi. Oh, now Young with the wheel. Nice. Nice wheel about that breaker. A little help from Kelly and Dane, and Young knocks off Kofi. I guess he has to use the wheelbarrow neck breakers to finish her because he can't use the pile driver. I remember Eric Young when he hit the spike pile driver in TNA. That was done. It was it. But WWE banned the pile driver, if I'm correct, because of the neck injury risk. So, I mean, that's understandable. But yeah, like WWE was at for a time they banned was at the um, curb stomp. They just recently brought the curb stomp back, and at one point I think they banned the Styles Clash because they say it was too dangerous. And we know how AJ Styles is with the Styles Clash wrestlers. If they don't communicate with them the right way, they'll get their necks. I seen Kazarian mess his neck up. I seen a lot of wrestlers mess their neck up with Styles Clash. But let's get back to the video. Becky Balboa became the SmackDown Live Women's Champion again. What do you Becky say? Balboa. Girl, I know you did not compare yourself to Rocky. Um, not Rocky. I know you did. Oh no, of course, yes, no. But if Becky does beat you, then you will have to defend your SmackDown Women's Championship at the biggest event of the summer. SummerSlam. Summer you go, Paige. You go, girl. Make those rules. From the top turnbuckle. Swan Ooh, nice swan time. Nice swan time ball. One, two. What? Randy Orton. So Randy Orton's a heel now. Randy Orton just comes. Randy Orton 
might just cost Hardy the championship. And now you can hear the order from Selena Vega saying, a cop, uh, finish uh, him. Styles trying to block it. Oh, uh, wait a minute, trying to go to the calf puncher. Uh, it's it. Nice it's calf it. killer. The earlier couldn't pay dividends for Styles. It mm. does. Almost taps to Styles. And each and every week he comes out here is another week he's destroying his legacy. And no one has the courage to tell him. Not you, not Kane, not his wife. But I have the courage to tell him that Daniel Bryan's days of headlining WrestleMania are over. Daniel Bryan's career, just like Team Hell No, is dead. This is asking for a death wish. <laughs> he has that face where he don't care. Like, he has the rest of like the resting bitch face resting bitch syndrome like and his attitude he's had that attitude since the real world back in like 03 04 somewhere around there 05 oh but that's what makes the Miz so you know legendary he's gonna be a future hall of famer you just watch what i say watch mark my words let's get back to the video well you had to know that daniel Bryan was not gonna stand for this whole funeral team hell no here with the Miz. Uh huh. I knew that was gonna happen. Sneak attack, Daniel Bryan. We all love Daniel Bryan. Oh, oh and wait a minute! Daniel this. Bryan turning it around on the Miz, and now he's going after the ball bearer. Daniel Bryan attacking oh. him from behind. Oh. And it all he can mm. stomach, all that nonsense that mm. Miz was spewing. Look at that, the new Mr. Arch. No, no. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see this. You want to know why? You're going to have to work to find him. That's too much. That's too much. That's why when somebody has their ear pierced that far, they're just asking for somebody just to rip their ear. Like, oh my goodness, he's about to turn him into Mick Foley. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Ooh, this heel will turn by Randy Orton. Every time he turns heel, he always gets somewhat vicious. Let's get back to the video. Like, this oh is more God. vicious than punching somebody in the head. Mm. Randy Orton just tortured Jeff Hardy. Oh, no, 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 he's not done yet. And Hardy back for more. Enough. Oh, no, 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 stop it. Oh, family try and stop it. Family can't stop it. Finley try and stop the. I think he's faced off against Randy Orton a few times. You know when Randy gets into his own, you can't stop him. That's that's Randy Orton for you. Every time he turns to, I don't even know why they would have him turn heel here. This is not understandable. It's just Kay Nakamura was kicking him right in the gonads, like the same time he's doing AJ Styles. I mean, it's just Kay's the king of low blows now. So I mean, but still, I don't even know why he would want to turn heel and help Shinsuke Nakamura. This is just. I really don't understand. Well, hopefully in coming weeks we'll find out why Randy's turned heel for like the 20 millionth time. He's turning heel like once per year, like big show. So, I mean, like by the time his career is over, he's going to end up turning face and heel over 20 times. But um, I enjoyed the video. Hopefully y'all did. Be sure to smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe, share. Suggest me the type of video you want to see in the comment section down below. Be sure to stay active on the channel. Until next time, much love. Stay cool, y'all. Peace.